So recently I came across this map which had a very unique name. Uh, the name is only two letters and these two letters stand exactly for what you think they stand. So let me show you guys why the map got its name. It seems like it's just like a, a straight line, right? And the balloons are coming up from the left, they're walking on the right side. Uh, but yeah, that's not exactly the case. So let me just hit start and show you guys what the, the thing is. So you guys see what's happening on the left side. That was a little bit too fast. Let me just redo it again. So look at this thing. We're playing two tracks, but these two tracks are not connected. There's like a divider in the middle. And so whatever comes out from the left side just goes back into the left side. And that's that's how the map gets its name, by the way. So this is a very short track, by the way, on the left side. And uh, let's try and beat this thing on chimps mode. Now, I do have a strategy plan for this whole thing. Uh, we need to defend two tracks. And these two tracks, as you guys can see, are not exactly connected in any way. Well, maybe you can have your defenses in the middle. And that's exactly what I'm planning for. And uh, let's just see how we do. So I'm going to get the quick shots, actually, because I did play through the first round. I wasn't able to get through the first round. And then I realized that maybe if I just get the quick shots, just kind of, you know, go past this thing. And so now my question is, can we get away with just going straight for Oban? Because Oban is how I want to do this thing. So let me just watch this round. And if we defeat this one, then we are. Yes, there we go. So we're going to have the money for Oban. I want to have Oban just like this in the middle. So you can see both of the tracks. So let's have them like this. And uh, yeah, so here is the plan for this entire thing. Before starting this map, I was thinking what I want to do to defeat this thing on chimp mode. And I was thinking because we're defending two tracks, it would be nice if we got like a nice OP tower that's able to defend two tracks at once, right? <laughs> so the tower that I came up with was the uh, Millipad Super Monkey. I wanted to get the Robo and also I'm probably going to go to a Tech Terror as well, which is a tower that you really don't see. I, I don't exactly buy it that much, so you don't see it exactly that much on this channel and the, the money is going super super well actually in this early game. I still haven't used the Brambles and I'm really trying not to use them. And is this gonna be the first one? Oh, this is gonna be the first round in which we have to, right? You know what, let me actually try and get away without using the Brambles as much as possible. So if I set Obin on last, because the left one is the shorter one. So if I have him set on first, it's gonna target things on the left side because they are technically first. But if I have him set on last, it should attack the right side, right? There we go. Just like that, and boom, there we go. Okay, so let's pray for RNG, because Brambles are still RNG, I think. And, of course, we get the bad one. But, you know what? I think the AoE is a little bit higher, so maybe when these balloons are coming up from the right, they can touch the Brambles a little bit, and maybe they, like, they'll get popped or something like that. I, I think that that's exactly what's happening, by the way. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we can cheese it with the Wall of Trees if we have it, like, right here in the middle. That would be interesting. But we do have the money for the Super, so let me just... I'm a little bit late, but let me just retry, and I'm just gonna place the Super during this round. I I want to have it like here in the center so let's just be quick with this thing and yeah so as soon as this guy gets to the middle cross path the middle cross path is the range one and then omens level 11 is going to give it even more range and even more pierce and this thing should work out but uh yeah let's see how we do on these around so we're gonna need some camo and what's this gonna be brambles yes there we go we got lucky it's a 50 50 guys okay so now i do have a really funny plan for round 33 uh, because we don't have any camo detection on the right side yet. So I wanted to do well first off Let me just get the bigger radius. Is this in range? Yeah, it is. So I wanted to buy the <laughs> I wanted to buy the crossbow for the left side and I wanted to play the 50-50 roulette uh, for for the brambles So let's see if it's gonna happen. No, we missed it. Okay, let's restart. Okay, let's try it again Yes, we got it that time. That's amazing So now the dart defends the left side and then the these guys go into the brambles on the right side And you know what? I mean, it's it's working. This is not how you usually play, but it is working out It seems like okay, so round 37 we're gonna have lead balloons in a second So I'm just gonna switch open to strong I want him to only target the lead balloons and nothing else and also I'm just gonna keep the super on last So he focuses down the right side because the right side is is under defended for sure We do a little bit of attacking on the left then I'm gonna need a totem actually and this this last targeting seems to be working out for some reason I like I don't know it, it balances out in the end it looks like and I think that is Okay, so we're gonna have some camos actually. So do we bramble it up? Uh, I don't know. Let's see if these guys are gonna be able to defend the left side is defending Oh my god, we got the brambles on the left. No, let's try it again gamble it up No, he keeps sending them on the left side. Come on open. Okay, let's try it again I'm gonna need you to do the right thing, Oban. Oh my god, this is insane. Round four, let's see if he's gonna do the right thing. Oh my god, he's like, he doesn't wanna win. Round five? No, he's... Oh my god, this is insane. Uh, this is probably the sixth time, so let's... No way this is happening. Finally, we got them on the right side. Finally, we're done with this round. There we go. That's exactly what we needed to have happen. Okay, so the, the run continues, I guess. And so the knockback is a really important upgrade for round 40. But then I'm just thinking, what else are we buying besides the knockback? Because we're not going to have a lot of money left over. So I'm actually going to wait for this round to end before buying it. This should be fine, right? No issues. And then 
Let's uh, let's buy this thing now and let's hope for the brambles. Yeah, so the brambles are in a nice spot. We have about $1,000 left. So what do $1,000 buy you? I don't know if we lose to this thing. I mean, the knockback. Oh my god, that's... Oh, wow. That was actually not even close, I want to say. So the extra peers did help a lot. And keep in mind, Oban is not giving peers to the super. It's just the, uh, the millipath epic range. Okay, I will absolutely take that. Okay, so finally, the most difficult part of this run is over. So I'm just going to give this guy an alchemist. This is going to be a 3 2 0 alchemist just to start things off. Uh, so we can deal with these boons like the ceramics and everything else. We do have the camo, so it's a 0 2 2. And because it's under a discount village, this thing is going to be super cheap. So my question if, is if I buy one more village, it's not going to be. So the village is going to be in range of the other village, but it's it's not going to get the robo inside of it. I, I want to get a level extra discount, but that's completely fine because it's still super cheap. It's like 6.4k. And now look at this. This is so much easier than everything that we went through in these past few rounds. So this is round 47. I'm just going to use the brambles, but we... Oh, they immediately disappear. That's that's fine. So we get the robo now. And look at this thing. One is on first and one is on last. So we, we have, a, you know... a. It's not a tower, but it's like an arm that's dedicated to each track. And then we can also do some micro shenanigans if we need to, because I think that if I set it on close, uh, it's mainly going to focus the left side, right? Because the left one is the... Uh, oh, I'm just messing up the target. But yeah, the left one is a little bit closer. So we do have an, an option to do that. Let's just watch around like 49. Let me buy the strongest stimulant. To, let's see how good this uh, 0 3 2 super... It, it's really good, actually. These crits are insane. And I think that it's going to defend the 50s by itself. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens uh, in like rounds like for example 63 or something like that but i do plan on getting the tech terror actually and oban is gonna be level 11 and on level 11 oban gives some huge buffs to these uh, magic based towers and here's something that we can do we can actually just set the uh, let me actually test this thing so if i set this thing like this the wall of trees and if i use it are balloons from both sides gonna be able to walk into this thing did i just find a way to cheat the system <laughs> let's just see for this mob oh no it actually popped immediately and this super does not care this is around 57 it is both arms are one is on last one is on first so basically one is dedicated to each track and we're gonna have the money for the tech terror in a second but I do want to watch 58 because it has a bunch of ceramics like five mobs on it and uh, it seems like it's not even struggling the money is there and I still haven't seen anything walk into the wall of trees uh, so I'm probably going to keep the wall of trees like this and then I'm going to reuse them on the right side because that's the under defender one and yeah absolutely no issues so let me get the tech terror actually let's just buy this thing and we also need a little bit of camel let popping power so we're going to get it through that so here comes 63 this is a very important round and this is the round to which we're going to see if things can walk into is no it's not no it's not this deck there is super good nope I, I was thinking maybe we're gonna see like a balloon walk into the wall of trees but no it's, it's just defending everything by itself okay i mean listen i i know that this is doing a lot of damage and i'm absolutely not complaining okay so let's start working towards the other stuff that we want to buy we're gonna need another village anyways uh, for the avatar of rat plus uh, we're gonna need an mib village and this one is a 202 uh, and also a camel one, right? So let's have the other village like this in the range of the first one as well. Let me just get the discount to let me start upgrading this thing. And then, I don't know, we can go two ways about this. We can buy the five poplars and then get the avatar rat. But I prefer to, to get the avatar rat first and then spam the poplars. So uh, that's going to be the plan for the next few rounds. And as usual, nothing is happening uh, 65 to 75. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. Okay, so uh, we can use the... Let me just, you know what? Let me just wipe these guys with the ability, both of the ceramic waves and 78 and then let me just replenish the wall of trees because i i think that this i just want to have them on cooldown right while there's nothing happening so that if something happens you do have the cooldown ready to use them and we're gonna get the tech terror ability back for the uh for the second wave and uh, i think that we should probably use it right the wall of trees has a super long cooldown by the way but it, it can hold a lot of blooms so let me just wait a little bit and let me just wipe these guys and yeah there we go that's about it okay so this is gonna be the last one and after this we're gonna have the zero mg and the money is doing amazing guys so let me not <laughs> jinx it but if everything goes well 82 is the round to which we buy this thing uh and yeah let's just see how we do for this zero mg do we use an ability or something like that i I don't think that this damage is going to be enough. The wall of trees cannot hold BFBs and these guys are turning back. No. Is this the round that we lose on actually? Okay, so I do have a way of dealing with this, which is basically just using the tech terror ability. The problem is that I kind of wanted to save it for the 80s. And uh, yeah, that might be a little thingy. So you know what? I'm just going to use it. As soon as this thing pops, yeah, I'm just going to use it. Let's wipe these guys. Uh, we do have 5% cooldown reduction. <laughs> thanks to Oban for these cooldowns. So maybe that's going to come in handy or something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're into free play. And we need to beat this round plus 82 if we want to win. And uh, let me just reuse the... 
Oh my god, things are kind of leaking off. What is happening? I, I can't even see what's happening. I'm just gonna use the brambles. Hope we do a little bit of damage. And I really hope that these trees just hold these balloons in place. We have we have one of the cooldowns ready, but I don't want to use it. And no, we're leaking. Okay, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna have the uh the one of the arms on close, one of the arms on first, which is gonna make it focus uh the left side more than the right one. And then it looked like the ability cooldown was was out, right? So yeah, look at this thing. Is this the five percent open uh, thingy? Yes, yes, we got it. Okay. So we're missing two thousand dollars, and we need we need to beat this round. Maybe it's not even gonna be the full round, actually. Maybe if we just deal with a couple of them, I'm gonna keep this on close and first, and uh, we need forty-eight point six k, guys. I'm just gonna be spamming this button, and I really hope that this works out. We don't have an ability to use. We like maybe we have the brambles, but that's about it. And this is not looking good. I saw a Moab on the right side. It's out, isn't it? Yep. Well, if I have one of the arms on last, is that going to help a little bit? Like, maybe we don't focus the damage on one side. Or maybe we focus the damage on the left side, actually. I don't know. But we're super close. And it's, you know, I recently had a, uh, a game that worked exactly like this. And uh, it was super close. Oh my god, what is even happening? I got the money. I, I got the money. I don't even know what happened back then, but I, I got the money. I, I bought this thing. Hopefully these guys defend. Oh my god, how did that even happen? I thought we lost. I, I, I wasn't even talking here because I thought we lost. <laughs> okay, so we got this thing. Uh, That was so that was a little bit insane, but yeah, thankfully we got this thing now. So I think once you buy buy the Avatar of Rat, things are going to become a little bit easier. So let's just... Let's just finish this game like we're supposed to so first off we need to buy five poplars for this thing so let's just start by having as many of them as possible in the range of a discount village and hopefully in range of both of them but that's gonna be a little bit difficult okay so let me just get a mob glue we're gonna start up with the poplars just for a second uh, we're gonna have DTs on this next one so I want to slow them down a little bit and we also have the tech terror ability if necessary so let's see how we do so the left side is getting, yeah, so the left side is getting dealt with uh, before the right side. And that might be a little bit important, uh, you know, going forward. And uh, yeah, let's see how we do. So we're slowing them and stunning them on the left side because we got the relentless over here. But we don't have any slows on the left side, which I'm actually going to do right now. Uh, I, I'm going to pause the sab actually for a second and I'm going to buy a glue. But uh, yeah, we seem to be dealing, yes, this is this is just so much damage. This tower is so strong. I have not used this tower in a while and it's just an amazing tower. So let me do this. Let me just get a Moab glue. I'm not going get the relentless onto the right side i just want to slow these guys down and so here's the idea we deal with the left side first and then we start dealing with the right side or at least we deal with a portion of the left side and then we start dealing with the right side that is the the plan that i currently have and it actually seems to be working because the left side is almost over it's almost done and the right side is still coming out oh we have some zmgs by the way but the bfbs have been dealt with and let's just watch yeah look at this thing yeah and also the super is helping out a lot exactly so we deal with the left first yes exactly and now we deal with the right side and that's just amazing okay so let me buy the saddle which i do want to have now for 98 99 the 45 dts and then what else guys i mean maybe like the bad because the bad is going to come out the left track is the primary one so the bad is going to come out from here so we're going to have a very small amount of time to deal with it so maybe just like i don't know like a spike storm in the range of the uh, of both of discount villages i think that's gonna be fine and if i buy the spike storm actually with the bottom cross path it's only gonna disperse it onto the left track okay so 98 we need the plan to go in full force right now so we need to deal with the left side first and we are dealing with it these guys are just going hard to work and that is just beautiful that is just such a good plan i love it when things work out like this oh my god that's so good and so the left side is gone and uh now we work on the right one and that's it 50 50 just split it up okay so we do have the saddle for the next one let me just i bought the spike storm and i think we are about ready to deal with the bat we have almost all of our abilities off cooldown with the exception of the wall of trees uh, i'm actually going to use the do we need to use the sab action in this one i don't think we do let's just see what happens we might have to use the sabo actually because these are 45 dds and no, they seem to be walking into the wall of trees. Okay, I'm absolutely going to take that. So we save the saddle for when the bat pops. And here's what I want to do. I want to switch Oban's uh, wall of trees to the back now. Because uh, it's only the left side that we're defending. And let me use the spike storm. Wait, why is it throwing it on the right side as well? There are no balloons there. Okay, never mind. It, it's fine. And uh, as soon as this thing pops, let me just refresh the wall of trees. Collect. And then we do have both of these. So let me just do this. Let me just use the attack terror ability. That should be it, guys. Honestly, I mean, the wall cheese popped. Oh, is this fine? Yes, it is. But yeah, it was a fun map to beat. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me just check the pause before we go. 936 on this thing and then 850 on the on the tech terror. And then the rest are divided between Obin. And I guess a little bit onto these small droids as well, right? Because they did some attacking. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and this very unique map and a very unique name. But uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to see you in the next one.